G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name's Matthew. In this video we'll have a look at some common CO2 laser power problems and I'll walk you through some of the troubleshooting methods to help you find the cause of your problem. So you've turned your laser machine on and you've tried cutting but it doesn't seem to appear to cut or make a mark on the material. So the first thing that you should check is whether the laser tube is functioning, that is check to see that the laser is emitting light when the machine is running or when you press the pulse button. To do this, open up the back of the laser machine and observe the glass laser tube while the machine is operating or while you press the pulse button. And if the laser is emitting light, shown by that violet or pink laser beam, then uh, we know that our laser tube is firing and our laser power supply is working. So what we need to do in that uh, instance is uh, power off the machine and check to see whether the lens on the end of the laser tube is dirty or damaged or if there's an obstruction preventing the laser light from deflecting the laser through to the path on the mirrors. And this can include checking a beam combiner lens if you have one installed for fouling or damage. And uh, in this case, you would also check the optical path by performing a mirror alignment. However, if the laser is not emitting light, then you should check that the water circulation is normal. Now, laser power supplies uh, have a built-in safety feature that it won't fire the laser if there's a, uh, a water flow problem. Now, most laser power supplies will have a water flow sensor attached to it or through to the main uh, control board. So check that there's adequate water level in the reservoir or your water pump and that your chiller is on if you're using a chiller. Check the water hoses for blockages or kinks and uh, look for a smooth flow of water through those pipes and through the laser tube. Now while you're looking for the flow of water, you're also checking and inspecting the glass tube for any breakages or cracks. If the water's not flowing, then you should check that the pump is working efficiently. So if the water circulation is normal and the laser tube is not damaged, then the next thing to check is the laser power supply. So ensure that the laser machine is powered on and the laser the power supply switch is also on. Some machines have a separate switch for the laser power supply, so make sure that they're both on and look for an illuminated power indicator on the power supply and check for the cooling fan in the power supply to make sure it's rotating. If the power light is off and the fan doesn't rotate, then check the AC input, whether it's 110 or 220 volt for whichever supply you're using. You may also check the circuit breakers or fuses for your machine. Now, if the power supply uh, AC input is normal, then power off the machine and remove the six wire green control line terminal block on the laser power supply. Then power on the machine again and press the test button to manually emit laser from the tube. If it does emit light normally, then this means that the laser tube and the power supply are normal and the problem is on the control line. So power off the machine and plug back in that six uh, wire terminal block and short circuit the terminals WP and G. On some laser power supplies, it's labeled P and G. And then power on the machine and press the test button again. Now, if the laser emits light, then it means that the water protection switch is broken and will need to be replaced. If it does not emit laser light, then power off the machine and short circuit TL and G. On some machines or power supplies, it may be labeled L and G. And then power on the machine to see if there's laser light. Now, it's important to take note that when you short circuit the L and G, that it will actually tell the laser to continuously fire. So you don't have anything combustible under the laser uh, head to make sure that we don't uh, catch fire or anything. So we're just doing that for a very short time to see whether the laser emits light. So if the laser beam is not emitted or the laser beam is weak, then it means that we either have problems with the laser power supply or the laser tube. Now laser power supply, it's a good idea to have one on hand for instances such as breakdowns and for testing because we're going to install the spare laser power supply into the machine so that we can see whether it was the laser power supply fault or a laser tube. So once you've installed the new laser power supply, if you're still having the same problem and you're not getting the laser beam firing, then it means that you need to replace your CO2 laser tube. So thanks for visiting MW Laser. I hope you found this video useful and that you can get your laser machine back up and running. Now Clayberry Laser requested that I put this video together for you and you can also check out their support forum at forum.cloudray.com. And until next time, take care. Cheers.